trying to sit in here. And I think the Lord was showing me. I got to keep on praying, bro. And some of the stuff I'm dealing with is from growing up in poverty. But I'm a tithe. I've been a tithe since I was 18. Since I learned about tithing. And I believe that I'm going to be wealthy. I am wealthy as the seed of Abraham. I'm saying, well, the riches shall be in my house. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights in his commandments. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His children shall be mighty upon the earth, influential, and have authority. That's another translation, though. His children shall be mighty on the earth. So I believe God. Wealth and riches will be in our house, and my children will be influential and they will have authority and they will be mighty upon the earth. In Jesus' name. But I'm saying the blessing of the Lord is on the house of the righteous. But I'm saying when I seek wisdom, that wealth and riches will be in my left hand. No, um, riches and honor will be in my left hand, long life will be in my right hand. So I believe that I have to worry about being poor. That the Lord is going to supply all of my needs. And that seed time harvest will not cease. And I am always sowing seed. I will always sowing seeds. I, I just gave this lady some money the other day who wanted some. I hope she, she probably went and bought some cigarettes for me. But I, who am I to think I'm above other people, you know? So. I had, I had a little change that I wanted to get with my people. But, um, yeah, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, people really throw me off. You know, they want to they want to reap the benefits of your hard work. I remember when I first went to Atlanta, they had everybody, somebody organized a bus. I guess they want to see what's in Atlanta. Organize a bus in the whole took a whole bus to Atlanta. You know, you ain't been trying to go to Atlanta. Not that it was, a, not that I, you know, I was tripping on it or nothing, you know, but I was just like, what's that all about? You know, a whole bus, a whole bus load of people. And then, XYZ person was all over Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? The whole time I was there, it was all over Atlanta. On Atlanta, like a, a roach in a dirt house, up in every crack and crevice. The whole time I was there, I'm like, what is that all about? I'm just sitting now. Now that I came back, I'm looking around. And they got, they got all kind of stores that are new to, that are not regional, but that are from up north. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. They, they finna open up all the, okay, that's the store that's native up there. There's about, the, oh, they, they opened up a Sprouts, a Trader Joe's. So before, we only had one store. We only had one store, and that was Whole Foods. And we wanted something specialty. We had to go, they had a few little aisles on, on the regular grocery store. They had a few little specialty aisles. You know what I'm saying? We wanted organic food. The regular grocery store had a few little eyes on it. Just a very few where you would, right when you, before you check out, I'm talking about two or three little eyes bunched up in the little corner. If you wanted a special item. So they went ahead and opened up Whole Foods. For real. And then when I went to Atlanta, I came back, they got all everything, every store up in the Atlanta, they got it. And then, and then they even have to know to have some of the restaurants. Those restaurants are not even regional to here. Now, like people be, they be showing people y'all up in people business don't even know it. People all up in your business don't even know it. They know where we grocery shopping end up in Atlanta. For real. They open up a restaurant and everything down here. And it wasn't that down there. We, we, it's, a, it's, a, it's a competitive store. I can't think of the name of it. They would open up a competitive store down here. They already had their own store. I can't think of the name of it, though. And they brought one down here from Atlanta. 
I was like, he want, he want, he want the benefits, but don't want the work. You know what I'm saying? And don't have the decency to, to, to learn about it. You know, to, I mean, get in, to not get in people's business. You know, it wasn't nothing. It's no secret. You know, I wasn't nothing doing nothing, nothing secretive or top secret or nothing. Well, motherfucker, really think you're doing something secret? <laughs> I really think you got a secret. I got a video on him. I'm going to have to go through it and put it together and make it, you know, a worth an audience watching. Bitch, really think you got a secret? I, I ain't anybody got no secret. I wasn't doing shit. I'm doing it what I was doing here. That's my little motto. You know what I'm saying? Stay in my life. I go to work. I go to church. I come home. That's my little motto. Yeah. If I go somewhere, you know, it's with a group of friends or, you know, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I would a friend if I'm dating or something. I do the same thing. The same thing I did there. That's the same thing, you know. I ain't did nothing different. Nothing at all. Let's see. I went out to eat it. I didn't even really go out to eat. I didn't really go out to eat that much. When I was there. I really was feeling the food. I mean, lemon pepper just wasn't was not something I could get accustomed to. I still ain't. I still don't fool with lemon pepper. I don't even fool with a lemon. Lemon is for putting in a pitcher with some sugar and drinking. <laughs> it means we messing some people. I just wasn't feeling it. But I, I miss it one thing. I, I no one thing I did like. I don't lie. I did like brunch. Now that's something we don't have here. We did not have brunch. But <laughs> but that's one thing I liked. I liked it. Getting up, making some um mimosas and just making me a nice big brunch and just and just I ain't gonna lie, I liked that. And that's one thing I could I could you know, I could implement into my personal life. It's having me a brunch, but other than that, and I hate to say it, I mean, it was like people was happy there. People seemed very happy in their little, in their little world. <laughs> happy up in their little world, <laughs> but <laughs> I wasn't feeling some of that. I really wasn't feeling some of that. You know what I'm saying? So, but. But but um I, I I seen this bomb house. I would have wanted to buy it. I could have stayed because they started, you know, improving the quality of life since I had moved out. You know what I'm saying? They had started just making things happen. You know, I was actually finna get involved in this. Uh, I was finna get involved in some stuff. I thought I was finna get involved. My mind was telling me I'm finna get involved. My mind was <laughs> my mind was like, "Sister, you finna get involved." <laughs> But, but anyway, you know, if why ain't you, I, I'm going I'm I'm to chill out and cool out and chill out and cool out and stop all that migration shit, you know what I'm saying? I might go take me a little road trip, you know, and enjoy some different stuff. I've been wanting to go down and lit Havana up in Florida. We've been wanting to go down. That's something I'm going to go ahead on and do it so I don't have to be sitting around. I'm like, oh, I've been wanting to do this. Wanting to do this. Then, then I might go ahead and take me a little road trip. A little shopping trip up to Texas. Because they got the furniture I, I used to. I had bought. I took my whole income tax and bought this bad furniture. And, and um, I lost it when I put it in storage. And couldn't pay for it. And the people was nice enough to give us our diplomas and our certificates that we had earned and stuff. And our uh, documents, like our birth certificates and stuff. They was nice enough to give us that stuff back. But I had check stuff dating way back to 1999 um, when I years and years ago when my daughter was. When my daughter was a little bitty girl, I, had, I just had my check stuff in a box. And I 
tax returns and my receipts what I had tied to the church all in the years. I had just had them in, in a file folder and a whole bunch of shit I had meant to shred up. I don't know where it happened to that. Now like what you gonna do with it? And we really ain't had no well, we have had a couple of issues with ID issues. One we had somebody supposed to be got a mortgage in my name somewhere. But I don't deal with stuff. So I think it just fell off of my credit. I think it just fell off my credit. You know, so somebody had a whole free house in my name somewhere. They done fell off my credit. <laughs> <laughs> and um life is crazy so right now my credit is good so right now my credit <laughs> <laughs> give me a down payment going to give me a new call but anyway I ain't worried about all that yeah, people is a trip though I don't know if in your all up in, I don't know if so I don't know so deep up in my business when I went to London, I'm telling you, it was in, there was like a roach, baby. There was like a roach up in every crack and crevice of Atlanta. Well, I, I mean, all over. But I ain't tripping on that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about me, no. It just make me mad, you know. That you don't know who I, I had said I wanted to go to the park yesterday, I swear. I swear. I swear, like, people really trust me. People mind. I don't know how people mind work. I don't know how people mind work. It's worried about what I'm doing for. Going to the park and kissing fresh ass. You know what I'm saying? I might take a picture or two. My daughter bought me a purse for my birthday. She's a little sweet. She bought me a purse for my birthday. And I bought a purse for her. She bought me a purse for my birthday. 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 So she can see the purpose. No, but people, but people got bullshit on their mind. Shit, we eating a damn sandwich and taking a damn picture in the car. What the hell? Their mind saying it happened. You know what I'm saying? What is your mind doing? People just, I just gotta pray. The Lord told me to seek Him. I'm like, all right, praise God, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Yeah, well, He was showing me that some of these things that I'm dealing with in my body is because. I'm growing up in poverty, and so I'm like, well, God, I'm not in poverty now. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercy, God. I'm not in poverty now. You know. You don't believe, you don't believe that. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says, God said, if you meditate up in these words, then you will have good success, and you will make your way prosperous. We have prosperity. According to the Bible, we have prosperity. According to the Bible, and I said, "You said I came as we may have, I came as we may have life and life abundantly. We have abundant life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now where we go from here, God? Where do we go from here? 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 Where do we, you know, yesterday I had um, I had some um, uh, what I had for breakfast." I had some hash browns and fish, and then I had for dinner I had some salmon and rice. You know what I'm saying? It don't get no healthier than that. It doesn't get any healthier than that. It doesn't get any healthier than that. It doesn't get any healthier than that. You know what I'm saying? So I think should, you know, I shouldn't be dealing with nothing if all I'm doing is eating healthy food. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna pray on it. We better show the Lord gonna show me where to go away from here. And we're gonna go. I, I was trying to work on one of my writers, and Lord told me, "I'm right, like Lord, have mercy." Do you realize that these people is asking for their stuff I'm using? They want to be paid for their stuff I'm using, Lord? What you want? What should I write? I was trying to write a missing note. It's nothing deep. It's a missing It's a little missing note. It's a little entertainment. There's some people who want to read it so I can make some money. It's all a little entertainment. People see, people see, people in mind playing tricks on them already. I'm saying I'm writing something. But the Lord told me he don't write it. So, it wasn't that just a little entertainment mystery. It's a little entertainment and a mystery. That's all it was. So, but he did say me, he did say me to go forward with my self publishing idea. So, 
Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just need to, you know, sit down and put him first. So I can go ahead and move forward with that. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pay these people for their stuff I need. And um, and I have plus I have other obligations. I have I have things that I, I would desire to do for my family, you know. So I mean we all do. We all have obligations, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, I just had to, I just had to get on the wall to really on my mind is I'm saying look how they finna bill is no this store. They done book, I done left it, they done come back, they got it. I'm trying to see how many, like one, two, three, three restaurants native to Atlanta. Then they got, of course you can't tell people don't do stuff, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell people don't party. Then they got three grocery stores. Yeah, you know, people be up in your business. Do you know that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. Ooh. So somebody told me I was <laughs> I couldn't tell people I need to be quiet. I really need to I be talking myself out of stuff. I really I was telling somebody I was working I've been working on this um, manuscript. I need some illustrations for it. And it's just been a, a, a one little thing after the other with getting the illustrations done. So it's like, it was telling me. It was telling me. I mean, so I throw that shit together and let somebody throw this shit together. I'm like, I'm like, I really have a concept. I really actually have the illustrator. But their fee is right now out of my range right now. But I might go ahead on and contact them and send them. And sit on the manuscript and see, you know, what kind of payment plan they want to work out of, or how we gonna proceed. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. I'm <laughs> just gonna get, just go and get somebody. If, if I could just, if I could just go and get somebody, anybody, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? I could do it. I don't. It's, it's no such thing as going getting on them. I probably could go to New Orleans. Now. We go down there. And we just got to the hand pencils drawn of us for for twenty dollars by the street artist. And I probably could find a street artist who might work with me. You know what I'm saying? But I got I got to get up. I got to go down to New Orleans. I'm about to be in Orleans Parish right now. Orlean Parish had probably have, I think, the first highest rate of COVID-19. Not, not that I'm not moving my faith, so I'm going to have to pray on it. You know what I'm saying? Of course I'm moving my faith. You know, the Bible says that 5,000 will fall on your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you if I'm going to move my faith. So definitely I got to I gotta pray before I go, Lord, look, I need to go down here. I'm trying to, you know, see. But but it may be another way to do it. You know, I'm from, I'm from, I really don't feel like just going to New Orleans right now you know what i'm saying i just don't feel like cause i gotta pray i might i might could just find somebody here you know what i'm saying but street artists you know they we don't have like the french quarter where you chill at you know what i'm saying they don't do that no more they used to have them downtown on the riverfront and you could go in see somebody and they doing you know singing or playing an instrument which you can still go down there and playing the little blues and the jazz down there you know what I'm saying? But you don't see to me. You don't understand what I like to talk about it. So I don't know what's the deal on that. I, I don't know what the deal on that is. Cause I, I really want me a lot. I just really, I just really want some art right now. I, I, I want several, I want a portrait done. And I want me a big wall portrait. Watch how people are watching you. I, I'm saying I'm just going to the park. Gotta be. I, I really had to pray. Gotta pray before you go to the park. You gotta pray before you go to the park. You gotta pray before you go to the park. That's why.
want you to use the things you ain't confident about. And you really, you gotta pop off on the bitch. You gotta start popping off on the bitch. Trying to drink a cup of coffee. 